Daniel Day-Lewis, often regarded as one of the greatest actors of his generation, stunned the world when he announced his retirement from acting at the age of 60. After decades of delivering some of the most iconic performances in cinema history, including his roles in My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood, and Lincoln, the three-time Academy Award winner made the decision to step away from the Hollywood limelight, choosing a quiet, peaceful life in the countryside of Ireland instead. Seven years have passed since that shocking announcement, and now, at the age of 67, Day-Lewis continues to enjoy a life far removed from the chaos of the film industry. Instead of the red carpets, awards shows, and the relentless press circuit that came with his career, he now finds solace in the rolling hills and lush landscapes of County Wicklow, Ireland. The actor has fully embraced this serene existence, swapping the fast pace of Los Angeles and New York for the tranquil, picturesque Irish countryside. Long before his retirement, Daniel Day-Lewis had already set his sights on a quieter life. In 1993, he purchased a stunning five-bedroom Georgian house near the quaint village of Animo, nestled in the heart of County Wicklow. It was in this peaceful retreat that he and his wife, filmmaker and writer Rebecca Miller, began to build their life away from the spotlight. For many years, the couple divided their time between Ireland and the United States, where Miller continued her work in film and literature. However, when their two sons, Ronan and Cashel, began school in the local area, the family decided to make Wicklow their permanent home. Now in their mid-twenties, Ronan, aged 26, and Cashel, aged 22, grew up surrounded by the beauty of the Irish countryside, far removed from the glare of paparazzi and Hollywood glitz. Day Lewis and Miller raised their boys in a way that prioritized privacy and simplicity, offering them a grounded upbringing away from the constant attention that often accompanies the children of celebrities. Although Daniel Day Lewis has largely retreated from the public eye, he's still occasionally spotted in the local community, often seen cycling through the winding roads of the Wicklow Mountains or jogging along the scenic trails of Glendalow. The actor's affinity for fitness might come as a surprise to some, given his reputation for intense, transformative acting roles. However, those who have encountered him on these trails or around the village have grown accustomed to seeing him embrace the simple joys of outdoor life. Interestingly, it was after moving to Wicklow that Day Lewis discovered a passion for running. He joined the local running club, Parnell AC, where he quickly gained a reputation for being a naturally talented runner. According to reports from the Irish Daily Mail, the actor's athleticism was impressive, especially for someone who took up the sport later in life. One could imagine that his physical prowess would have come in handy during his action-packed roles, such as in The Last of the Mohicans, where he famously performed many of his own stunts. Day Lewis's passion for running wasn't limited to casual jogs through the countryside. In fact, he actively participated in local road races, covering distances like 10 kilometers and half marathons. He even competed in the Balator 6000 road race in 2004, where he placed an impressive third in the over 45s category, completing the course in just 21 minutes and 58 seconds, as reported by the Irish Independent. However, despite his natural talent and dedication, an unfortunate back injury eventually curtailed his running career. While the injury ended his more competitive running pursuits, Day Lewis hasn't completely given up the sport. On doctor's orders, he still enjoys the occasional run around Glendalow, albeit less frequently than before. In a rare interview with the Irish Times in 2009, Day Lewis reflected on his running journey, expressing regret over his limited ability to participate in the sport due to his injury. I've been hardly able to do any running at all these past couple of years because of a back injury, he said at the time. It's a great pity, but I have to limit myself now to about one day a week in Glendalow, just for the sheer pleasure of it. Despite the setback, his love for outdoor activities persisted, and he has since embraced cycling as a way to maintain his fitness and enjoy the stunning landscapes of Wicklow. It's not uncommon to see him tackling the challenging hills of the area on his bicycle, a hobby that complements his desire for both solitude and physical well-being. Although his acting career seemed to be firmly in the past, recent reports have hinted at a potential return to the screen for Daniel Day-Lewis. Speculation began swirling when he was spotted filming in Manchester earlier this week for a new movie titled Anemone. What makes this project particularly special is that it marks the directorial debut of his eldest son, Gabriel Kane Day Lewis. Gabriel, now 29, is the son of Day Lewis and his former partner, French actress Isabella Johnny. In Anemone, Day Lewis was photographed on set, swapping his trusty pedal bike for a motorbike, signaling a return to the intensity and physicality that defined so many of his roles. While details about the film remain scarce, fans are buzzing with excitement at the prospect of seeing Day Lewis back in front of the camera, especially in a project so closely tied to his family. As he quietly continues to live his life in Wicklow, balancing his love for fitness, family, and the Irish countryside, 
Daniel Day-Lewis remains an enigmatic figure. Whether or not he fully steps back into the world of acting remains to be seen, but for now his fans can take comfort in knowing that one of the greatest actors of his generation may not have said his final farewell to the silver screen after all.